Hello! Let's take a look at how to integrate Splunk on call with Splunk IT Service Intelligence, or ITSI. On the right side of the screen, we'll see an instance of Splunk on call. On the left, we see an instance of Splunk Enterprise with ITSI. We'll begin by installing a new app, navigating to Find More Apps, and searching for VictorOps. VictorOps was acquired by Splunk in 2018 and renamed to Splunk On Call. You'll still see the VictorOps name in the apps list. When we select Install, we're prompted to enter a username and password. Make sure the username you supply is assigned an appropriate role or capabilities to install apps in Splunk Enterprise. We then select Agree and Install. You may need to restart Splunk Enterprise in order for the installation to take effect. To verify that the installation is complete, we select Apps from the top bar and can see all installed apps, including Splunk On Call. Selecting On Call brings us to a configuration page with three steps to set up your On Call integration. We'll start by selecting Setup Account. Next, we're prompted to supply an organization slug, which is the name of the on-call instance. In on-call, we'll select timeline. In our browser URL bar, we'll copy the text after slash client and paste it into our enterprise configuration window and select submit. Next, we'll select setup alert API key. Our organization slug is automatically populated. We'll switch back to on call to find the API key and the routing key. In the top navigation bar, we'll select integrations. This shows us all of the third party integrations that are already installed. You can search for Splunk ITSI, or here you can see that we've already installed the Splunk ITSI integration. So we'll select it and then select enable integration. We'll copy the API key then paste it into the corresponding field in Splunk Enterprise. To find the routing key in On Call, we'll select Settings, which takes us to the Routing Keys tab. Routing keys are what allow alerts to come from a third party product, such as Splunk Enterprise, into On Call, which can then identify where it came from, as well as what escalation policy to execute when the alert comes in. You can create a new key. Or, you can see we already have a key created called Splunk ITSI, which we'll copy and paste into Splunk Enterprise. We select Add Key, and can see that the connection has been made successfully. To test the integration, we'll select Send Test Alert. A confirmation message appears, letting us know that the alert was sent successfully. In On Call, we'll select Timeline and we can verify that the test alert was received, letting us know that our first level of integration is working as intended. To complete our integration, in Splunk Enterprise, we'll select Setup Data API Key. Like in our previous configuration step, the organization slug is automatically populated. Now, we'll turn to On Call to locate the API ID and the API key. We'll select the Integrations tab, this defaults to the third-party tab where we previously accessed Splunk ITSI configuration settings. This time, we'll select the API tab. We'll copy the API ID and paste it into Splunk Enterprise. You can create a new key, or here, you can see we've already created a key called Splunk on Call. We'll copy this key, paste it into Splunk Enterprise, and select Add Key. Our data API integration was successful. Let's verify that our integration is working correctly in on call. We previously looked at a list of routing keys in the settings menu. In Enterprise, we'll select Retrieve Routing Keys, which reaches out to on call and displays them below, validating that we've successfully completed our integration.